hi and good morning today is the 19th of june 2017 and we are still continuing with the songs of songs chapter 5 today we are looking at verse 3 verse 3 says this i have taken off my robe must i put it on again i have washed my feet must i soil them again now when i was growing up washing of the feet before we went to bed was very important because we spent most of the time on the farm out there in the fields walking it was dusty or it was muddy yes you needed to clean your feet wash your feet before you went to bed some people took this seriously i didn't my grandma who i used to live with i used to help her wash her feet before she went to bed so that she couldn't soil or she wouldn't soil her i mean rather she wouldn't make her beddings dirty now the funny thing is like i'm saying i used to bed wet so it didn't matter whether i washed my feet or I never and because I slept on a mat or on a gunny bag then again it didn't matter whether I really did wash my feet I did clean them just in the morning before I went to school so I wasn't all dirty dirty now bringing us back to these verses that those people who lived in this context on the, where this story was written it's the same it's a similar kind of environment to which I was growing up and they needed to wash their feet before they went to bed they needed to change maybe to their night dress. People do here in the West, they change into their night dress. Again, that's a, something I have to really encourage myself to do. I just pick any dress as long as it's comfortable and I sleep in it. Sometimes I just pop in bed the way I, I was during the day. And as long as it feels comfortable, I can sleep. Old habits die hard. And it's so difficult for you to learn new tricks. But anyway, let's come back to the verse. It says this, the bride, on the previous verse, she was like, I can't sleep. I'm longing for my beloved. I'm waiting to hear that door opening so that I can go and open for my beloved. But unfortunately, at this particular moment, she says, I've washed my feet. I've even changed into my nightdress. Must I come and open the door? And that's how we feel sometimes. We have a kind of a mixed feeling when we want to come to God, when we want to start a relationship with God. God or Jesus it's like must I do this is it really necessary must I live my kind of comfortable life that I have is it really really necessary one moment you know something is missing but another moment you're like I'm comfortable with my life the way it is I don't need God or I don't need Jesus or I don't need any other person to come and intervene with my life but remember this you and I have a choice whether to open the door for the beloved remember in the previous verses i've been saying this jesus and god makes us complete through the power of the holy spirit he makes us complete so if you really 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 want to be complete then be prepared to soil your feet even after you've washed them so that you can open the door for this beloved but you have a choice jesus does not force himself to anyone neither does god he's given you a choice either to soil your feet and open the door for him or just continue being comfortable and see whether you will have a restful night. It's you who was worried about sleepless nights, so you decide. You decide. So as you go about your day-to-day -day activities, you have a decision to make. Which one is the best thing to do? To continue living in your comfortable life without God interfering with it, without God and Jesus coming knocking at the door, or opening the door letting your feet be soiled and let the beloved come and make your life complete have a wonderful wonderful blessed day see you tomorrow as we continue with chapter 5 of the songs of songs god bless you